everyone. So my Brandy Melville order came in and I'm super excited to show you what I got because it's my first time ordering from Brandy and I was really scared that the clothes wouldn't fit or the majority of their clothes are one size fits all. So they definitely have a certain demographic but luckily everything worked out that I ordered and I'm Really excited to show you. So the first thing is they send you this booklet that just kind of showcases some of their styles to give you an idea of how to, I guess, put pieces together. So that's really cute. More stickers. And so the first item I wanted to show you is this jacket that I'm wearing. It is so cute and so soft. I feel like a teddy bear wearing this, like an adult teddy bear. It was only about $45. So, I don't know. I just don't care. I really love it. I love this jacket. And I'm probably going to wear this ice skating tonight. I'm super, super excited. First piece I want to show you, I actually did not get from this um, shipment. I actually purchased this at Nordstrom. Um, my local Nordstrom and I kind of bought it on a whim and it worked out it fit really well so this is the shirt I was wearing this in my Celine mini luggage and sunglasses video so it's just a long sleeve shirt and the material just feels really comfortable it has um, the finger holes for your thumb at the end so they do run a little bit longer on the arms, so that's cute. What I wanted to show you is this top. Now, most of the pieces do have Brandy Melville in the label or in the tag in the back. This particular one didn't, and I wasn't sure why. It says John Bolt, so I don't know if that's a company. <laughs> but this top is so cute. When you look at it, and it being a one-size-fits-all, I don't think it's something you would immediately grab for. This is not something that's really that short or that high up. It does go, and it just has a little bit of your mid midsection peeking through, but not in anything distasteful. What I want to show you is a dress that I had to get because it's my name, or it's because it's kind of named after me. It's the Janelle dress so this is a really popular dress that I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram and just a lot of people out and about wearing so I wanted to get in on the trend it does go up into the mid of your thigh when you wear it so if it's really cold where you live it's probably not the dress but for you this winter it's a looser fit um, so it was nice. I, I like the way it looks. Now, that was the second dress that I had tried out of the two dresses that I picked up from Brandy. So, actually, I forgot the name of this dress and it doesn't say it anywhere on the tag. But this one here is a little, just hugs your curves a little bit better. And I actually like this fit over the Janelle dress. The Janelle is a little bit looser. It is more true of a t-shirt dress where this is more just like a just like a shorter dress. It is t-shirt material but I thought this would be nice and comfortable and it just hugs in all the right places and it's I just really like it. I like that dress. It's good for every day around the house or running errands. So I'm gonna wear this jacket for the duration of my video. And then the final jacket that I purchased is a jean jacket. This is not a fitted on the arms jean jacket. It does stop right at your waist when it's worn. And it's meant to look like a 90s runs jacket. But I really like this, especially with the black dress. And this is like a, a 90s jacket. It's very, it feels very grunge to me. Like it's not fitted in the upper body part, but it is fitted down in the waist part. So it just hits right at your waist. 
So if you're wearing a shorter dress, it's going to look really cute. It's going to have good proportions between your upper body and your lower body. So this video, I'm not going to actually try on the clothes just yet. I plan on wearing these outfits in Las Vegas when we go for Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.